second. Hi, this is the Sparkling Zora here for a tutorial video, vi video on how to SOS chain for a shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, the first thing you're going to need is an Adrenaline Orb, which you are able to acquire after be beating the Fire Trial on Akala Island. Try not to give any spoilers out. But... Adrenaline orbs, they will make a Pokemon want to call for help. It makes them nervous. Another way to make them even more nervous, get a Pokemon that, that knows False Swipe. And the last way, a, get a Pokemon that has the ability Pressure and Intimidate. And, and to keep a Pokemon from running away, or to ensure that you're gonna hit it with the false swipe, uh, you need you need to have a Pokemon with Taunt or and Soak. I mean, this is not all required. The only thing you really need is to have the false swipe and the Adrenaline Orb and a lot and Pokemon with a lot of power points and time. That's that's probably the most crucial thing. But I'm gonna show you how to do this SOS chaining. I'm not, pro I'm probably not even going to try to get a shot, probably not going to even continue this. I might later and I can do, I can do, I can do that, but for right now, I'm just teaching you how, so now that we've got that all sorted out, we're going to go in for a random encounter. Okay, here we go. First Pokemon is an, this Pokemon is an Abra. Now this is why you're gonna need Taunt so that it won't teleport. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pokemon with Taunt, so we're just gonna have to run away and try try again. I tried to record this video two times before, but the, um one of them I just ran out of space, and the other one it had some bad bad things in it. Some stuff that want, that I don't really want to put in my first video. So, let's hope that this time we're going to get something good like a Rotat or a Meowth or a Young Goose or something along those lines. Let's see, what do we get here? We got a Rotata, so this is what I'm trying to do. So, first, first things first, we're going to full swipe this Pokemon down to... 1 HP. Oh, this is useful. Swipe. And now Rattata's at 1 health points. Okay. One more thing. Pokemon won't start calling for help until... Until after the first trial. So, if you already have the Adrenaline Orbs or something, you're just gonna have to wait until after the first trial, but... Sorry about this. I don't, I don't have the best setup in the world. So we're going to use our Adrenaline Orb. The Adrenaline Orb is in the Battle item section. So let's use this Adrenaline Orb on this Rattata. Okay. So now it calls for help. And let's see if... It's help arrives. Some help arrives. One thing, if the poke, if help doesn't arrive, which can happen sometimes, you might just you to waste a turn. If you have, if you still have adrenaline orbs, just use another adrenaline orb because it's just it's not gonna waste it. It's just gonna waste a turn. So. You're still going to have the same amount of adrenaline orbs anyway, so uh, it's going to waste a turn, and it's going to probably call for help again, and it, it might come, so anyway, 
I'm gonna teach you how to switch them out if one of uh, one of the Pokemon's if the one of the Pokemon's power points runs out. Now I'm not exactly sure how what the odds are, but according to what I know, is that after 70, a 70 chain, you get three rolls, which means you have a one in 1,024 chance of finding one. With the shiny charm, that's a one in 684 chance, so, yeah. But what we're going to do here is all, all you have to do is you have to beat down that one. Okay, and let this this poor little rat attack all by itself attack. And also try to get a higher level Pokemon. So now we're just gonna false swipe this guy down. And now it's at one HP. And I believe it will call for help, and let's see what happens. Yeah, so this is how I'll show you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our bag. And we are just going to use this adrenaline orb. But it had no effect, but it's not going to use up the adrenaline orb. And so now Rattata is going to call for help again, and maybe it'll come this time. See, so you just have to keep doing this over and over, and remember to switch the Pokemon out. Well, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!